Hello YTPC, this is Charlie Hibbs coming at you from my beautiful home here in Kansas City, Kansas. Peterson. Uh, Bill Bailey's Balk and Blend from Dan Tobacco. Outstanding. I don't know how much this truck's going to bleed into the uh, microphone, so I'm going to shut it off. It is zero, and I mean below with wind chill and everything, so it is very cold. I am on a limited timer, so I'm going to skip the niceties and get right to my point. My, this is a... Uh, uh, my introduction of a little bling club I'm starting, I'm just, uh, I don't know how to word it. I'm not much of a reviewer, so I hate to call it a review, but I got a vlog, and I got 12 tobaccos to review. I'm going to review one tobacco a month on the last Monday of the month. I'm going to announce it, so if anyone wants to VR or respond and weigh in on the conversation, you know, they're more than welcome. Uh, let's see, I got a, it's written down in here, there it is. Um, I got some blends picked out. Uh, for the first month, I didn't care too much because uh, I don't have many subscribers. I'm not exactly trying to grow this. I mean, I would love if a couple of people took part in it with me, but to like gain subscribers or anything like that is not my goal. This is just something I'm doing to have some fun, a little documentation. And like I said, if anyone wants to join me, there's a little bit of reward at the end uh, for anybody who takes part. <laughs> But uh, month one, again, since this is short notice, I don't have a ton of, of uh, subscribers. So I didn't exactly, most of the blends, I wanted blends that are readily available, nothing tricky like uh, Esoterica or hard to get. Even though this one can be a little trying at times, uh, this will be my first one for January. Uh, Wessex Burley Slice, but again, I only got a couple of subscribers. I, I'm hoping to get a couple of people eventually. I doubt many will be joining me for this first one. So this is just the first one I'm going to do. And then uh, other ones are all easily available for noggins, smoking pipes. I got Royal Vintage, Six Pence, uh, McClellan's 40th Anniversary, Old Ironsides by Dan Tobacco. Full Virginia Flake by Samuel Galwith. July is Frog on a Log. August is Capstan. Uh, September's Mare de Chevelle by F and K. Uh, Beacon Extra by McClellan's. Quiet Nights, GLPs, Three Nuns. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, all these are easily available. Anyone can order them at any time and get their hands on them. Except for maybe this one, it seems like it kind of comes and goes. And the first time I'm trying it in the new 10, not that that should matter. It's the first time I ever had the round 10. That's all I'm saying with that. So here we go. Here's where it gets a little bit interesting. For anyone who's interested in weighing in on the conversation on any of these tobaccos that I review at the end of the year, if anybody makes a good review, I'm hoping to get five um, through the course of the year. Like I said, I'm not expecting a ton of people to take part, but I'm going to divide this up into fists, 50 grams, five, 10 gram packages will get milled out to the top five people who respond and um what i'm hoping to do is if uh some people who don't have a bnm local that can't get their hands on any esoterica you know they might be able to use this opportunity to you know get a sample i'm gonna i'll open it on camera and i'll divide it up and i'm gonna send it out to the best five video people 
through the course of the year. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be a smoking age in your state, local area. Only uh, America. I'm not shipping international. Kind of ignorant on this. So not getting it, making it too complicated. Not to be rude, maybe in the future. But for this first one, I'm just going to kind of keep it in continental U.S. for shipping. Stonehaven's a reward. And... Uh, like I said, these are all great tobaccos. I got them all set aside. A tin of each tobacco I listed throughout the course of the year. Um, these are just ones I grabbed from my cellar. Just kind of random. Uh, again, I always uh, like to mix things up. So there's some... Like I said, nothing that should be impossible for anyone to get their hands on. Should all be readily available right now. And yeah, I'm hoping to get some people who want to take part in this with me. Um, if you see any tobaccos, you don't have to do a review for every tobacco. The whole basis of this is just me uh, talking about a couple of tobaccos that I like. And hopefully, you know, get the conversation going. And uh, I'm going to try to take notes, try to follow through on this, do as thorough a job as I can. I've been smoking pipe tobacco for many years on and off dedicated since i quit smoking evil cigarettes about god i think it's been four years now and anyway um yeah it should be a lot of fun and i'm like i said maybe i make a friend along the way and uh give some people a chance to maybe get some of the tobacco that they can't normally get their hands on it's kind of hard and on that note i haven't been in my truck since maybe the beginning of december and i mean it is a train wreck in here but i found a half a tin of this I'm kind of frozen <laughs> not a big aromatic guys but this is pretty good because it's kind of a light aromatic not exactly uh, knock you over with the flavor it kind of goes to a nice tobacco blend after a few puffs and yeah that's all i really wanted to talk to you about is hopefully i'll get a couple people to take part in it and if uh some people take part make a couple uh responses reviews uh i might take some written i'm not too picky this is more about just having a little fun um and hopefully you see something you enjoy god i just love that tin art not even that big of a fan of the frog i mean it's good i'm not gonna say it's bad it's tasty it's very light uh you know all the frog mortons in my opinion it's nothing i reach for on the regular but i quite enjoy them on the time and i love that tin art anything that ties in with tolkien hobbit lord of the rings i'm a sucker i um huge influence in my life not just pipe smoking but political how you treat other people this lesson's learned anyways i hope everybody's having a wonderful 2018 have a good uh happy new year hope everybody made it home safe no accidents i look forward to seeing you through this process it, uh, my little reviews that i'm going to offer will be on the um last monday of the month and uh you know, people can respond to that or however I'll figure out some way to do it. Again, don't have many subscribers. Don't expect to have a lot overnight. But again, if anybody um, wants a chance to get in their hands on, you know, a good sample of Stonehaven, uh, this would be one way to do it. So you guys have a happy uh, New Year. Be safe. Take care. Have a good one.